How do you make the molecular orbital diagram for H2? Start by drawing in the highest energy atomic orbitals for the hydrogen atom that are occupied or filled with electrons. For hydrogen, these are the 1s atomic orbitals. So fill these in at the same energy level for each hydrogen atom. And remember to draw an increasing scale of energy on the side as a reference. Then, draw in your molecular orbitals. For H2, there will be two molecular orbitals, one that is higher in energy than the individual atomic orbitals and one that is lower in energy. Remember to connect these with the original 1s atomic orbitals for each hydrogen atom. Then, we'll name them. The lower molecular orbital is called the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital. And the higher is a sigma 1s star antibonding molecular orbital. Then let's find how many valence electrons each hydrogen atom has. Each hydrogen atom contributes one valence electron. Therefore, the H2 molecule has two electrons in total. So let's fill up our molecular orbital diagram now, like we would with an electron configuration diagram. So in the 1s atomic orbital, put in one electron. And in the other 1s atomic orbital, the second hydrogen atom, put in another electron. Then I'll allow these electrons to fall down into the lower energy bonding molecular orbital for H2 and fill both electrons into this level. And there you have it. That is the molecular orbital diagram for H2. Now, what is the bond order for H2? The bond order describes the strength of the bond in this molecule and also directly tells you how many electron pairs are shared in the bond. The formula for bond order is one half of the bonding electrons minus the antibonding electrons. The bonding electrons are in the sigma 1s molecular orbital and the antibonding electrons or in the sigma 1s star antibonding molecular orbital. So bond order, order will equal 1 half times the bonding electrons, of which there's two, minus the antibonding electrons, of which there's none. So the bond order for hydrogen, the hydrogen molecule, will equal 1. And this makes sense. There's one pair of electrons that are shared in hydrogen if we draw the Lewis structure. So a bond order of one typically corresponds to a single bond. Finally, is the H2 molecule paramagnetic or diamagnetic? The H2 molecule is diamagnetic, meaning it's repelled by an external magnetic field. And we know this by looking at the molecular orbital diagram because there are only paired electrons and no unpaired electrons. If there are unpaired electrons, then it would be paramagnetic, which means that is weakly attracted to an external magnetic field. So we can mark down that H2 is diamagnetic due to the presence of only paired electrons. And this means that it is repelled by an external magnetic field. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.